Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Lucas and today I'm going to be remodeling the Daisy Hovel house. It is the base game home and I thought that I would remodel it because it is extremely outdated and I figured it would be really awesome to see the before and after. So as you guys can see, it's a really, really basic home with some of the necessities that one would need when they start playing The Sims 4 and I just thought that I would give it a 2023 makeover. So if you guys want to see the final results of what this home looks like, stick around to the very end. And as I always say with all these videos, everything can be found in the description below as far as the packs that I use in addition to also any custom content, which is not that many, it's just a few items just to kind of spunk this whole home up. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and thanks again for watching. So for this home, I definitely wanted to move the kitchen so that it was on the left side upon entering rather than being in front and I actually made the area where the kitchen used to be into an office because I always like to make offices when it comes to homes. So I decided to make a U-shaped kitchen that was open to the living room and I then added in some newer windows just to kind of bring in some more light and to make it look a bit more modern and updated and then I added in some cabinets and I kept the brown because I actually have this new tile. As you guys can see it's really really decorated and it's very popular nowadays to see in home and for those who are interested in the tile you can find it in the description below where I will have a link leading to where you guys can find more on that I really enjoy this tile and I thought the brown really complemented really well and because the kitchen area took up a little bit more space than I wanted it to I decided that I was going to add in a bar area with some stools and then for a dining room area I would just simply add in a small round table with two chairs added to and that would be the dining room area for the living room area I decided that I was going to make an l-shaped couch and I was able to do this using a pack called the interior design pack on the sims and and I absolutely love this pack. I love being able to create sectionals with it. And then I also added an ATV on a TV stand and then some more decorations. And then from there, I just decided that I was going to continue improvising and working on the living room area because I just wasn't really satisfied with it. So for the doorways that lead to the bedroom and also the bathroom, I decided that I was going to actually put in an archway there. You see doors here now, but I do end up changing it. And then as you can see in the middle, that's where the office is. And I also add in a door later on just because I felt like it looked a little bit better. And I just kind of kept working with it just to see like what looked good and what didn't look good. And finally, I kind of came up with the layout that I actually approved of. And then from there, I decided that I was going to work on the bedroom. And I kept the bedroom really, really simple. I added in some new windows that really brought in tons of light and then I added in some end tables with a small wardrobe right beside it and then I added in some more decorations just to kind of bring the room to life and also I colored the walls because I felt like it was too white and it could use a little bit of color here and there and it actually came along really nicely. I considered putting a door that led to the backyard into the main bedroom but I just felt like maybe it would be too much because there's already a doorway leading to the backyard and the hallway that goes to the bedroom itself. One thing I really really enjoy though is the fact that I can create custom wardrobes with the Sims interior design pack you can do just that and I absolutely love it because I always love the idea of having a walk-in closet and now that I have this pack I can do just that in all my builds so it's really really cool and I did have a lot of trouble with the bathroom just because um, I had this vision where I wanted to use this bathtub with this shower but just trying to figure out like the layout of it all was kind of tricky so I had to play around with it once I did manage though to figure out the bathroom it was time to move to the landscaping part which was really really fun um, but first I had to figure out the room rooftop and because this home is really long and narrow I didn't just want to create like a typical triangle shaped roof I kind of wanted to add some style to it in some direction of course just to kind of make it stand out so I do spend a lot of time just trying to figure out the roof I essentially connected two gable roofs and I crossed them over one another so that it would kind of create some you know interesting concept to the roof itself so this is the final product of it and then from there I kind of create a overhead for the porch part. Once the porch was completed and I also added in some columns and some new fencing, I then colored the whole home and honestly it was really coming together so nicely. Next I decided that I was going to expand the porch because I felt like it was too small and I wanted it to wrap around so that it would enter into the backyard where I also added in some new accessories such as a pool and a seating area and also a dining area for anyone who likes to eat outside and at this point I was really really happy with how it was coming along because again and if you guys remember how it used to look to how it looked now, it's quite a difference. And my favorite part, once I have the whole house positioned in the position that I want it to be in, I finally decide that it was time to work on the landscaping part, which is so fun for me. As usual, my to go to are these like little trees. Well, they look little now, but they're actually really big and I shrunk them down and then I added in some grass with some lavender and I kind of continued the layout 
throughout the whole home or at least throughout the whole front of it. Once the majority of the landscaping was finished, I decided to add in some more garden beds where it was just a bunch of grass and shrubs and I really think it brought the whole front together really nicely. And I like to add trees in the front just because if you have the seasons pack for the Sims, you know that when the seasons change, so do the trees and I really think they look really pretty during the fall time. So I think adding trees both in the front and in the back really complement your homes. And then from there, because the original backyard of this home was just run down looking and there was really nothing to it in the first place, I really wanted to spice things up. So the part that I'm doing right here is going to be like another seating area. There's not going to be any overhead, so it's just going to be an area where you can sit down and enjoy the elements and it's going to have nice shrubs around it. I was going to put in a fountain, but I decided not to because there's going to be a pool right beside it. And I really enjoy this part. Uh, I find that using the shrubs fence, um, it, it looks like a bush basically, but it's a fence. I really think that using it and incorporating it in your backyard will really help section things off. I wanted to keep the pool really, really basic because it would kind of complement how the home looks overall. But I did want like another uh, dining area to be right in front of the pool um, that would kind of overlook it. And this area would be, of course, um, you know, shielded away from the sun to kind of block you away from it. And it's going to be a nice area where you can just kind of be close to activities, but also be close to the backyard in general. And so the part that I like the most about this area that I built was that um, I also included a skylight in the roof in case you know someone wants to have some additional skylight going through you would definitely have that and then right underneath it you could put like a table and also a grill and I also wanted to kind of make use of this space as much as possible because I find that having a backyard that really looks so put together is really important so whatever green space that I could deal with or do with in this case um, I really wanted to add in flowers and bushes just to kind of make it look a little bit more decorated. The pool, of course, is small. It's really, really basic, and I could probably fit, if I'm not mistaken, I think I was able to fit like two lounge chairs on the side, and that was basically it because the space was kind of limited. Now, of course, I had to put a pond in the backyard with the pool, and I really think this helps balance out the feel of each element. You know, for a pool, it's a really great leisure activity, and it's a bit more modern, but then if you have a pond in the background, I feel like it's just more grounding. And that really completes this whole video. I hope you guys enjoyed this home being remodeled. Let me know what your thoughts are. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much for all your love and support, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!